Jason, Jason, wake up. The engine just stopped. You're kidding. Oh my god. Jason, I just went to bed and the starboard engine just stalled on me. After a beautiful stay in Cuba, it was time for us to leave and head over to the Bahamas. Twenty-two fifteen hours. Oh man, what a night has it been. You know, uh, we were saying it's going to be a full moon, it's going to be beautiful, uh, we'll be able to see everything. As we are going, I could see a storm brewing up. Lightning, thunder, rain. You couldn't see anything in front of you. Try to put on the radar, try to see things. You can't see nothing out there. But you know what? This is a really stressful night. Let's keep our fingers crossed. We have to get through it. We have to get to Nassau. And uh, folks are waiting for our news. So let's keep on going. Jason, Jason, wake up. The engine just stopped. You're kidding. Oh my God. Jason, I just went to bed and the starboard engine just stalled on me. When I realized the engine wasn't starting, I figured that the large waves had caused the secondary fuel filter to clog since we already changed the fuel filter in the main filter. Then, after hours of work changing all of that, the engine still wasn't starting. So I decided to open up the main fuel filter and I realized it was almost empty of what? Fuel. So after that, after filling it up, I asked Chloe to start priming the engine. Okay, Chloe, you've been pumping for 20 minutes? I'm going to try and start it and keep on pumping! Finally, we got the engine started. Daylight had come and our stress level went down, just before we arrived after our 27-hour journey. The next day, we needed to leave our anchorage and continue our journey towards Nassau. At the end of the day, when we slowed down, Chloe caught a nice surprise for us. The second fish we have, and who took it? Me. I hope it's gonna be bigger than the first one because the first one we let it go. It was a small barracuda. I think he's tired. He's bigger. Oh, it's my fish. Don't touch it. That poor fishy. After a few days at anchor, we went toward Nassau. We walked towards the cruise ship district. On the way there, all the buildings were old and falling apart, and there was not always a sidewalk. But once we entered the district, we noticed all the brand names. We felt like if we were at home. The shopping district is nice. The building got renovated, but there is no old architecture from the colonial time. Although, the buildings are very nice and very colorful. If you like shopping, Nassau is the place for you. So, as we left Nassau, we decided to head towards Spanish Wells. Well, we're about to head through a narrow passage. With tides and a narrow passage, you can have a lot of currents. Well, everything was going well, it was well planned, we're going through at the proper time. Then the starboard engine decided to quit on us again, so ultra stress, yeah, uh, we have to make it true. Wow, we made it true. The car was going bum 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 bum. I, I was so nervous, I mean, an engine let go. When I felt the boat starting to shake and the engine let go, I go, oh my god, this couldn't be the worst possible time. But we made it true, 
Uh, we didn't lose any speed and I'll go and have a look at the engine. It's probably the same problem as last time. Air got into the uh, fuel system and we just have to reprime it and everything's going to be good. Since it was Christmas Day, we decided to offer ourselves something special. We spent the whole day at the beach and we had the beach all to ourselves. Spanish Wells is a very cute island. Their buildings are very well maintained. The landscaping is amazing. We saw a bunch of beautiful flowers, lots of colors, and most important, all the people are very friendly and helpful to us. I really like that island. As we were walking on the island, we ran into the annual sports day for kids of all ages. We saw the bike race and also the rollerblade race and it was very nice to see them. And all the prices are sponsored by the local businesses on the island. We also saw an art gallery and we had the chance to meet Austin, the craft teacher of the school. Well, I began teaching in the island of Spanish Wells um, about 11 years ago. The gallery is basically an offshoot of the craft program in the school. We use the gallery to showcase the work that the kids do in the program and then also if and when we make a sale, the funds that come in go to support the purchase of equipment, tools and resources. To supplement the program we also recycle aluminum as part of a program in Nassau called Cans for Kids. The bulk of all earnings go back into financing the program. I teach various uh, mediums, quite a lot of scroll saw work, quite a bit of uh, pyrography or wood burning, some copper craft, a little bit of crepe paper, metal craft. We're in an era whereby modern teenagers and modern children are so used to instant gratification. The act of actually being patient enough to make sure that they finish something as good as they can so that you can take pride in it and show it to your grandkids later on in life. How the gallery functions is pretty much operate from nine till about five. We have a bell attached on the outside. So if I'm in the middle of class and someone rings a bell, I will send a child around to show the guests around the gallery. One of the main ideas of the gallery is when the kids are physically showing folks around the gallery, they are the ones that are explaining how a technique is done. So they're reinforcing what is being done in class. So it's good for them to get the feedback from guests and tourists that compliment how good quality work that the teenagers here do in the program. 